Welcome to LOV TV's February 2016 newscast. Today we have five interesting stories for you to enjoy, along with a special announcement at the end. This first story is about the new hoverboard laws. These new hoverboards have people worried about safety. So the government created new laws, but they might be too strict. So let's see what the students have to say. Hi, my name is Bella Carson. The predictions were true. Hoverboards have made their debut this past 2015. Yet with these new devices, they have been lots of accidents. Some hoverboards have recently caught on fire, while other riders have broken their bones. By taking precaution, new laws have surfaced. Starting January 1st, new hoverboard laws. 16 years or older to ride, must wear a helmet, bikeways or highways under 35 miles, no sidewalks, roadways, or trails. Today we're going to be interviewing Cannon. Do you have a hoverboard and what does it look like? I have a hoverboard and it's black. Do you think these laws are too strict? Yes, because people that just got a hoverboard are going to be mad because they can't really ride it out in public. Today we're going to be interviewing Izzy. What do you think about the new hoverboard laws? Uh, I think they're overly strict and I think it kind of defeats the purpose of having like a free country because you know, if you're just going to have laws about everything, then it's stupid. Do you own one? Oh, no, I don't. Do you think these laws are too strict? Thank you. Yeah, especially since people got him as gifts. This next video is about Joaquin Guzman, or you may know him as El Chapo. Joaquin Guzman, born in Mexico, entered the drug trade as a teenager. He was nicknamed El Chapo, and the name was still stuck with him. When he got older, he got married and had 14 children. Today's news story is about El Chapo, the evil dr drug lord. El Chapo is wanted on account of murder, money laundering, drug tra trafficking, and organized crime. He was first captured on June 9, 1993. He then later escaped on January 19, 2001. His second capture took place on February 22, 2014. This too was followed by an escape on July 1, 11, 2015. His most recent capture was on January 8th of 2016. He is now awaiting for the U.S. to transfer him to a high-security American jail. I didn't realize that he was caught and then escaped multiple times. Neither did I. Now let's watch this next video that includes students from our own school. This video has teachers and students being interviewed about why sports are so appealing. sure that you guys probably know, the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, every year I go to a Cowboy football game, I take one of my daughters with me. I've been a Cowboy fan since I was a little kid. Um, my other favorite sports teams are, I love the Lakers, even though they stink right now, the Dodgers, and the UCLA Bruins. What's the craziest thing you've done while watching sports? Uh, this is real bad. One time I was at my dad's house, they just bought a brand new door, and the Cowboys screen door, and the Cowboys scored a touchdown, and I thought the door was open, so I went to go run outside to scream and yell because I was happy, and it was really locked, and I went right through the door, and I broke it, and I had to pay for it. Hello, my name is Danny Sanchez, and today I'll be interviewing Trevor Clayton. Trevor, okay. What sports do you play? I play baseball. Uh, what sports do you like to watch? I love to watch sports. What's the craziest thing you've ever done while watching sports? Uh, the recent Super Bowl, Super Bowl 49, 
when Russell Wilson threw the interception to Malcolm Butler, I threw a chair. Uh, what's your favorite team in your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite team for baseball would have to be the Angels, and my favorite football team would be the Packers. Why do you think people like watching sports Why are we doing so much? This? Why are we doing this? It gives you a real sense of adrenaline when your team is in a close game. I personally enjoy watching and playing sports. My favorites are baseball and football. I enjoy playing sports too, whether it be competitively or just with friends. This next video is about the ever so popular holiday, Valentine's Day, and how it affects teens all over the world. Valentine's Day is fun for a lot of people. You might get butterflies when you get an, a love note from an anonymous person. Then you're going to speculate all day with your friends about who it's from. And that's great, but what about the kids who didn't get one? Apparently, Valentine's Day affects teens dramatically. In fact, 40% of teens reported that they had received no Valentine's cards or gifts. 61% of teens report that they have a negative impact on their self-esteem. Yeah, a lot of teens don't remember that just because you don't get a card doesn't mean that nobody likes you. A lot of people are just too embarrassed or too shy. So what do you think? Do you like Valentine's Day? Is there a particular event that made you like or dislike the holiday? What if you don't, didn't get a card or gift on Valentine's Day? How upset you, would you be? Or would you even care? So do you like Valentine's Day? Um, I don't have anything against it. Do you like Valentine's Day? Yeah. No. Is there um, Is something that happened that made you like or dislike it? Um, I like getting candy. <laughs> um, feels better to get Valentine's cards or gifts from your boyfriend or girlfriend at the moment, it might be better if you don't. A study recently published showing that teenagers who have romantic relationships can actually be more prone to depression and or alcohol or drug abuse. The reports of depression were rare, but were significantly more common in girls, a difference that could persist into adulthood. However, dating can be a significant part of teen life, as long as you remain confident and out of trouble. So if you do have a girlfriend or boyfriend, and you want to hang out with them on Valentine's Day, have fun, but don't feel bad if you don't. Remember, only 61% of teens have a boy or girlfriend, so you are definitely not alone. Wow, who could have known that a holiday like this could cause so much trouble? Yeah, especially since this happens every year. The last video we have today is about the Golden Globes. They talk about a few of the big winners. January 10th, the Golden Globe Awards took place in Hollywood at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Best performance for motion picture went to... Actress Brie Larson for The Room. Leonardo DiCaprio for the Revenant. Or comedy motion picture goes to actress Melissa McCarthy for Spy. And actor Matt Damon for the Martin. Television drama series goes to Atlanta's by Sony Pictures Television. Best director for motion picture goes to George Miller, Mad Max. Thanks for listening to the Golden Global. Interesting to hear about a few of the Golden Globe winners. Yeah, especially for the people who didn't watch the award show. So that was the last segment of our February 2016 newscast. Tune in to our next LVTV episode to see some more interesting stories. And remember, Spartans, explore, learn, and you will achieve. Bye! Special announcement, don't forget to check out our new LVTV raffle to win some cool prizes like blue tickets, gold tickets, and front-of-the-line passes. The link's in the description.